Hey, Jonesy babes. Good afternoon. So today, let's talk about Kim and Croy. Oh, my God. Oh, I don't know where to start with these two. It's like War of the Roses. That's what their relationship is like. Their marriage is like War of the Roses. So we still, I saw the video of how Croy was losing his mind. I felt like he was having a breakdown because he's just so tired of the BS. Kim is not 100% innocent. He's not 100% innocent. And those kids are in the midst of all of, and seeing this stuff, which they shouldn't have to see this stuff. But that's what's going on. So Kim and Croy's son told the cops that dad was hitting his mom during the couple's explosive fight. One of Kim and Croy's children told the police that his dad was hitting his mom during the explosive fight that prompt officers to visit the couple's Georgia mansion, according to new reports. Now, according to the incident report from Milton Police Department and event report from the Alpharetta Police Department obtained by a news article on Thursday, the respondent officer, ex-former NFL player, was served as the catalyst for the verbal dispute on November 20th. Croy responded that it did not matter because nothing would happen just like the last time. And when he said that, he sound so like fed up and he was just over everything. The report states that one of the couple's four children well, the minor kids, it looked like Croy may have hit Kim during detailing that Croy put his hands into her face with his fingers extended. The unidentified son clarified that Croy's gesture was a way of telling her to stop talking or get out of the way, but did not seem harmful in nature. The body cam footage previously obtained by another news article also showed the former Atlanta Falcons player accusing Kim of effing other men during the same verbal altercation. And then you see you see Kim in the car crying. But here's the thing, guys. They went through a lot of stuff before. It was in the tabloids about them getting a divorce, breaking up, and then next thing you know, they're trying to work it out. The next thing you know is more drama. It's like a never-ending story with these two. And they got to understand, it's either come to a decision to divorce and go your separate ways because you can't keep doing this in front of the children. It, you just can't. When asked by the reporting officer, what is and his estranged wife argument was about, Croy yelled, our life, our life, and it's effing destroyed. He eventually shared that fight was due to the real housewives of Atlanta inability to solve or address problems. It's nothing but an act. It's all a bunch of bull-ish. That's what Croy said. Croy and Kim, who are going through a second attempt at divorcing, made headlines last month when an extremely loud altercation outside of their home prompted their son to dial 911. I remember that. Although a judge has ordered the estranged couple to reside in different parts of the house, which is on the market for $6 million amid their dire financial woes, Kim have been battling enough that the court decided this week that they must complete mediation prior to January 31st, 2024. Despite the vicious arguments, Croy and Kim have been spotted out on dinner and lunch dates. See what I'm saying? They go through all of this. The kids are calling the police, okay? They'll come out, and then before you know it, they're out to dinner. They're doing something. So, I mean, come on, like... If you're going to divorce, then go ahead and just stay away from each other. That's how I see it. You know what I'm saying? Just separate already. So let's go to the comment section of the news article. 
They will lose their kids to the system if they don't stop. Too toxic and traumatic for the children. What a couple of self-centered adults. Adults is a stretch for those two. <laughs> These two are a true crime show waiting to happen. Very sad for the younger children, children more so during the holiday season. This is a broken man. Kim needs to stop before he does something permanent. You can hear the desperation in his voice. Their children shouldn't be exposed to any of this, which I definitely agree. They both need to stop this mess because it's not going to end nice. It was never going to work out once the shows ended and the money ran out. Her narcissism, spending, his ignorance, and not curtailing the spending with the end of the football career, living beyond your means, simply don't feel sorry for them because they both thought the show would continue for years and years. You reap what you sow. Kim must be dating and getting her money from somewhere. She's being sued every which way from Sunday, but has money for hair appointments and nails, etc. Priorities are messed up. Well, a decade too late for that. Save and invest your money. Having a couple pair of, you know, Gucci's and a boatload of money in the bank feels way better than having a hundred pair of Gucci shoes and being broke. And someone else said, we have Andy Cohen to thank for bringing this to the surface and share for bringing us Andy. Number one is forcing any, oh, no one is forcing anyone to watch the Bravo series, I guess. And you know what, I haven't watched the Real Housewives of Atlanta in so long. Like, I used to watch The Real Housewives of New York, but it just became too much. You know, I get tired of shows eventually, and I start watching them. And then when I start watching them, that's when all the drama happens. And I'd be like, okay, I missed all the drama. Let me continue to miss it because I can't catch, I can't catch up right now. So this is the last comment I'm going to read. And it says, get a life, get real jobs, Pay your bills, separate to save your children the trauma. Croy should have taken a job coaching football many years ago. Look at Coach Shaw. At least he still has his 500K salary from his job. Croy could take the kids home to Montana and coach up there. He's part of the problem as well. Hmm. Can somebody help these kids? Period. Where are the grandparents? Do they have any or even in the state? Because they're going to end up killing each other. It's a shame fighting in front of those small kids like that. Wow. So, yeah, that's what's going on. I'm pretty sure you guys know what's going on because they stay in on the blogs. They stay in the tabloids. They stay online. It's just it's just so much. And where is they don't have money to, to keep up with this six million dollar home? Where are she? Where she's getting this money for these hair appointments? And these hair appointments are not cheap. See, Kim is used to having Big Papa. Remember when she first came on the Real Housewives of Atlanta? Big Papa was paying all her bills. She was his mistress, his side piece, his side tour. You know what I'm you know you know what I'm saying? Whenever he wanted to do a little side tour and tore her body <laughs> in the privacy of somewhere of her home. She let him because he was footing the bill. You get what I'm saying? He was footing the bill. She was taking the money, and that was that. I'm trying to figure out, have I ever seen Big Papa? Have they ever shown Big Papa? Let me know in the comment section. Because if they did, I forgot what that man looks like. But she's used to that. So... She was on the show. She was making her money. Then she had her own show. Don't be tardy for the party. I remember when her and Candy was talking about babies and she was like, when Candy said, I would name my son Cash, I believe. And then when Kim got pregnant, she ended up naming her son Cash. 
And Candy was pissed off about that. That's why when people ask you if you you know when you have kids, what are you gonna name them? Don't give them names because people do steal names. Okay, but I remember that happening. Kim needs to realize that you cannot live above your means. She doesn't need a, a mansion. There are a lot of homes in Georgia that are really big and nice for a very cheap price. If she wants to spend, let's say, 600 k on a house, that's plenty of room for them. That's good, if you ask me, as long as you know how to decorate. And the furniture don't have to cost a whole bunch of money. But Kim wants to live high on the hall, and they don't have the means to. And if Croy was smart enough, he would have took control over the finances, okay, because it's his fault, too. He would have took control over the finances. He would have stopped sucking up to her and let her do what the hell she wanted to do. They wouldn't be here right now. And now they have those children watching them fight. That house is War of the Roses and somebody going to end up in trouble. Somebody going to end up on a true crime show on the first 48 or somewhere. Because it's not looking nice right now. It's not. It really isn't. So I hope, I really hope that they get a divorce and go their separate ways. He need his peace of mind because the way he sound on that video, like he was going to crack any minute. And that is scary. Now she's over there cr crying and carrying on. Oops, I'm sorry about that. My phone went off for a second. But she's over there crying and carrying on. And it's like, girl, tell the police what's going on. You're supposed to be in separate parts of the house anyway. It's just a whole bunch of stuff. It's just too much. It's just too much. But anyway, let me know in the comment section how you guys feel about that. And I will talk to you later. Let me go ahead and answer this phone call from my husband before he called again. All right. Later, guys.